I think you're getting the monk in your mouth. <laughs> no, never. It's kept under lock and key. I really like the way it darted. Uh, way it darted. <laughs> way, way it darted out of a darkness. <laughs> Woo! Garrett. Uh, yeah. Who's Garrett? Um, I mean, it's, I don't know. <laughs> You're fighting. I know, I am. So. One of those, man, and you get your hopes up and yeah. and you screwed me on <laughs> every uh, every avenue. I'm, I'm cranky. I don't yeah. like it. It really was disappointing to me. Wow. Got all that, guys? Hi everyone. I'm Janet. I'm Jason. We're Gumbo, Gumbo Mud. Mud. We're here for Dark Beer. And today we have from the Bay Area, right? This is from San Ooh. Carlos, California. Yeah. It is from Devil's Canyon Brewing. And the beer is Dessert City Pastry Stout. Sounds so good, <laughs> right? We'll see, right? Yes. We've had this before, so. I know. Um, I'm hoping, right? I know. So, um, brief description about the beer. Yeah. Uh, this is one of those that it's kept under lock and key, like very <laughs> little in, uh, information out there available to share with you guys. So, um, it is a, a dessert city pastry stout with chocolate coffee cake flavored pastries and the lightly sweetened with monk fruit. Okay, what's monk, monk fruit? I never heard of monk fruit. Monk fruit is, um, it's from southern China, okay. and it is um, uh, way more sweeter than like traditional sugar that, that we use here. Like, I, I think it's like maybe three times more sweeter than, uh, I don't know if they call it table sugar, I know they call it table salt, but like the sugar that, you, that we use for baking or anything else. And it has zero carbs, zero calories. Um, it doesn't affect your, um, what is that level in people that are sensitive to sugars? Um, not sure, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it basically doesn't like register in your system. Okay. So. But is it a fruit? Like, is it an orange it's, or what, it's, what is it? It's, it comes from uh, the sweetness of fruit so it's like um so it's not actually a fruit right it's not a fruit it's just derived from the sweetness of fruit so of what fruits though do we know i don't know yeah some fruits in china yeah huh, interesting but it is named after the monks uh in china who harvested or something mm -hmm. wow yeah so it's probably pretty old right uh, I don't know about that. I, I just know, um, I mean, I would say within the last 15 years is when I became aware of monk fruit. Yeah. And that it's, um, you know, it's it's popular because it's kind of a sought after ingredient because it doesn't increase your uh, calorie intake and your carb intake, which is, right. you know, yeah. a, a lot of, it's uh, important to a lot of people. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, about the brewery, Devil's Canyon Brewing Company is located in the heart of the San Francisco Bay Area Peninsula. So it's just north there of Palo Alto, if you know where Palo Alto is. So just, it's south of San Francisco, but it's on the mm -hmm. Bay Area. It's kind of on that peninsula. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's kind of the center there, just north of Palo Alto and uh, is an award-winning full-scale production brewery and event center. Well, yes. They have events there. So it's been family owned and operated since 2001. So a long time. Right. I think right? I read that you could you know, rent out meeting space, yeah. weddings, um, you know, corporate events, whatever. So I mean, yeah. 7,000 square feet is... It's a lot. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot to work with. And it's a certified sustainable brewery. So... Uh, the facility has over 7,000 square feet of usable indoor and outdoor space. So mm -hmm. pretty big. Yes. Pretty big place, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, and it's actually the first brewery in uh, Northern California to implement uh, a carbon capture technology, and that's what gives it the mm -hmm. sustainable brewery, brewery to reduce uh, yeah. CO2 emissions. So. Yeah, that's huge here. Big mm -hmm. time, just like uh, I, we know like Mud Shark in uh, Lake Havasu is mm -hmm. all solar. Right. So different uh, state, but yeah, exactly. Especially when you're the first one to do that in right. your in your geographical area, like yeah. you really 
um, you kind of set the standard for what yeah. others should be doing and are hopefully working towards that goal. Yeah, yeah, sounds interesting. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so the uh, CEO and co-owner with his wife uh, is Chris Garrett. His wife is Christiane. Um, Garrett, uh, yeah. Who's Garrett? That's his last name. <laughs> oh, That's yeah. his last name. <laughs> Chris and Christiane Garrett. <laughs> I'm like, wait, who's Garrett? He's got two, two Garrett, first names. Garrett Chris, Garrett. Chris Garrett. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> Woo. Okay, so Garrett. <laughs> Chris. So Chris, yeah. Chris Garrett took a class in fermentation. A fermentation science at Menlo College and led him to experiment with home brewing. Uh, he worked seven years in Silicon Valley, left his technology job, and went into beer making full time. Which is crazy because he opened in 2001. So he was doing this obviously in I the know. 90s, late 90s, and then maybe he was part of the tech bubble, mm -hmm. made some money, and then uh, got out and yes and open his own brewery so yeah, yeah. so uh, as i mentioned it's him and his wife yeah and um they're an award-winning microbrewery now and have a huge following so christiane huh christiane <laughs> i've really heard that name before no have you? Christiane. uh variations yeah. of it yeah yeah cool chris and christiane <laughs> cute yeah all right you ready uh, let's do it 9.3 percent guys so um Right in that range that we love. So Hope it measures up. Yeah, an award winning and obviously we love pastry stouts, so so this should be good. And uh, uh I haven't hit many breweries up around the Bay Area, so um Woo. finding out about all these breweries is great because uh <laughs> I, I love going up there. So um this will this will be fun to go to this brewery too. Wow. Wow, super dark. It looks, so, it looks like a 12 percent in my research <laughs> uh you guys i i could see that they had another variation years ago that was a german chocolate uh cake german chocolate cake. stout yeah and this is supposed to be more of a coffee cake oh uh stout so which i don't know if i've even i've ever had coffee cake well the thing that's bizarre coffee cake is just um it's like a light a white or yellow cake with like cinnamon sugar blend like it's not a chocolate cake gotcha. so this is a chocolate coffee cake pastry stout with the monk fruit so uh -huh. they kind of mix the chocolate into the coffee cake which i'm not a huge fan of chocolate cinnamon combination yeah me neither like i like cinnamon sugar yeah. by itself or cinnamon and maple but right. um not so much cinnamon chocolate thing so yeah we'll see yeah so what do you think about appearance uh it's definitely dark this is a 9.3 yeah um you poured mine a little thicker i really had a good head going yeah it it looked like a 12 coming out the can for mm -hmm. 9.3 super black yes yeah i think it looks darker than a nine yeah uh the little bit of head that i have now around the rim is like that super deep yeah. Um, mocha color which I love like to me that usually points towards a flavorful beer mm -hmm. so I like it I'm gonna start I'm gonna start with a 4.5 only because I don't have much head yeah um, you have a little bit but even what you're left with is minimal compared to others yeah it's funny because it's almost heavy like a 12 percent where we don't usually don't get a lot of lacing like mm -hmm. there's not lace there's t lacing but it's not thick at right. all and it, it just kind of is not clinging to the glass at all. So uh, I think I'm gonna give it a four. Okay. I liked how dark it is. I just didn't think the head was much and there's hardly any lacing, but I love how super dark it is. So I'm yes. gonna start with a four um, and go from there. So okay. what, do, what do you think about the aroma? Uh, good. I'm also noticing too already, it's, it's kind of having that stained glass effect yes. that we talk about, yeah. which I think that's always a points towards something good to come so that's been a good sign for yeah, us yeah it is so we'll see yeah okay aroma i smelled a little bit coming out of the can when you opened it but mm. um a lot of carbonation not much it's no? it, to me i i reference a lot just a traditional stout right it kind of has those aromatics just with a little bit of fruit dark fruit not much no? if well, there is good. if there is some it's it's um kind of under the radar right it smells nice it smells clean but i really don't for a pastry stout i would expect yeah. like so much sweetness coming out and i'm not i'm not there yeah but it smells good yeah so um 
I'm gonna go to a four on this one. I like it, but yeah. I, you know, I really, um, I can't identify anything in particular, which is bizarre yeah. for a pastry right. stout. Yeah, I get a tiny, a little bit of sweetness, mm -hmm. kind of over the end, but I get hardly anything. So I gave it a three okay. average because yeah. I'm, I'm not getting anything. Yeah. And like you said, a pastry stout, you know, coffee, chocolate. I don't smell any chocolate, especially no. I don't smell any coffee, which I love smelling coffee and beer. Yes. So I'm not getting any of that. So go ahead, give it a okay. try. Here we go. Yeah. 9.3. I'm, I'm with you for, it just smells like a regular stout. It's kind of just basic. So, <laughs> so interesting, right? The taste is, you got that look. The taste is very in line with the aroma. Um, not much. Quite a bit of carbonation to me. Yeah, I could see. I was about to say I have a yeah. lot of carbonation. Just tiny little bubbles, but a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of carbonation. Just a, a faint um, sweetness. I guess it, it is kind of... Um, the sweetness is a little bitter and artificial. Yeah. Which is the, the monk fruit coming through. Yeah. Um, a little smokiness too. Do you? Tiny, tiny bit. Yeah. I just, like, I don't get... No uh, pastry. <laughs> there's no pastry. Yeah. There's no chocolate. There's no cinnamon. There's no cinnamon coffee cake. Uh, it's just a standard stout with some... A little bit of bitterness. A little bitterness, a little sweetness. Yeah, a little bit of bitterness and a kind of a little bit of smokiness, just a tiny mm -hmm. bit. But that that's all I'm getting too. Like it's just a standard stout with a little bit of bitterness. And that's about it. There's nothing else to it. Just crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, we get some of these pastry stouts sometimes, guys, and we don't get no pastry. They say pastry stout, so like we talked before, I don't know if it's in the in the canning process or not, but there's no pastry to it at all. So it's really not. No. But I have, you know, I'll, I've read a lot about um, beers in general, dark beers in general. And from what I've read, pastry, stout, pastry stouts do have a tendency to disappoint. Like they, they paint such a, a beautiful yeah. pastry picture and then you taste it and you're, you feel cheated. You're like, right. where is the pastry, right? Yeah. Yeah, the bitterness might be coming from uh, coffee or something, you know. Yeah. Um, so, who knows? But what do you give taste? Not much to it. No, I mean, <laughs> kind of disappointing. <laughs> it's not. Uh, this is one of those. It's not bad. It's not. I'm not left with a bad taste. No. Um, it's just a. It's just a straight dark beer. Yeah. With a little funky aftertaste and yeah. sweetness. So, I'm gonna go down to a three on taste. Okay. I gave it a 2.5. I, I wanted to give it a three. It's mm -hmm. just, I don't think it's average on taste for me. It's a little below average. It's It's got that bitterness, which I don't like at all. And it's just kind of bland and nothing to it. So, you know, I, I know we, we've reviewed quite a few beers from around the Bay Area, even kind of towards Sacramento and Sacramento mm -hmm. beers. Maybe this is a flavor for that region, I don't know, but there's a lot of them. It's like you get this little bit of bitterness and the flavors just don't pop much. No. So I don't want to compare all these breweries because obviously every brewery is different. But, right. But you obviously know in certain regions, if people like a certain flavors, that's what they brew. So I don't know. But yeah, yeah. I give it 2.5 because it's, it's a little below average for me for taste. Uh, so what about texture? A 9.3. The texture... Um I think they did okay with the texture. I think it's one of their better <laughs> categories. Um, it's 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 a fairly thick beer. Like it's medium to thick, medium bordering on thick. Um, I mean, it's. I don't know. <laughs> You're fighting. I know. I am. Because it's kind of light for me. I don't know. And I don't feel like it's not even a nine point three. I don't think it's too close. Where are you thinking six? I guess it's yeah. Not, like you said, no, it's not six. six. It has a little bit of body to it. I would I would say it's seven, in the seven range, maybe eight. But it, yeah, it's a lot lighter than it looks. It looked so dark yeah. and thick, and then to me, it's not. Right. Yeah. So what I do you think know. about texture? I know. I'm I'm teetering on this one between three point five and four. It's not my favorite. The uh, the dark is there. Yeah. But it looks really good. Um. 
I don't know. I'm going to go with a 3.5. Yeah. I'm not going to dilly-dally. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. I gave it a 3.5. Yeah. yeah, I gave it a little bit of average because it does have a little bit of body to it. But, I mean, a 9.3, that's your... You're getting up there where you should have some good thickness and it should have a lot of texture yeah. and body to it and it doesn't at all. So, so yeah, we both gave it 3.5. So, on to the finish. On what do you think? On to the finish. Yeah, we're both disappointed because this beer sounded so good. Oh. You know? <laughs> so. One of those, man. You get your hopes up. And, yeah. Uh, on to the finish. Just, it's not my favorite. I think it's it's a fine beer. Like, just, it's just an average yeah. beer. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Yeah, um, no. It's just, it's lacking flavor. Yeah, it's lacking a lot of flavor. Especially if this was just a, an American stout, just straight up, this would suffice. But if you're going to say you're... Coffee, a, pastries, is all over it. <laughs> city yeah. pastry stout. Yeah. And they even say their their tagline is drink your dessert. Right. Okay, I'll do that in a minute if you give right. me something to drink that's yes. dessert like. Yeah, this isn't dessert like the, at all. This just is not no. No? in the dessert realm. Very close. Yeah. No. Yeah. So what about um, finish. Yeah, it's disappointing for me. So I'm gonna go with a three point zero. Three point zero for your mm -hmm. finish? Yes. I'm going to go with a 2.5. Um, the reason I go a little below three average is it's got that little bit of bitterness on the end. Mm -hmm. So it's just basically an average beer. The finish is almost the worst part of me because of that bitterness. And it also lingers. It's just kind of lingering in my mouth. It's almost like uh, an espresso bitterness. So I am getting more of the coffee flavor for me on the back end. Mm -hmm. And obviously it's coffee cake. I don't get any cake, but it's just that tiny, tiny bit. It's not, not bad. It's just a little bit and it's just sitting there. It's a little bit of bitterness and that's it. So kind of uneventful beer. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't get, I mean, you said you'd nev you've never had coffee cake? No, nope, never. Trust me, <laughs> viewers, this this does not resemble coffee cake by any stretch of the imagination. Like yeah. it has zero qualities that a coffee cake yeah. is comprised of. So yeah. um, I think the monk fruit is what's really, uh, I think you're getting the monk in your mouth. <laughs> I might be getting the monk in my mouth. I've never had monk fruit or uh, had anything that had monk fruit in it as long as, as far as I know, so. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's what's um, maybe they went heavy on the monk fruit and it's yeah. it's creating a, a bitter aftertaste because yeah, I'm getting it too. Yeah, you're getting it too. So, so for total Janet, what do you give Dessert City Pastry Stout from Devil's Canyon? <laughs> 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 Devil's Canyon Brewing. <laughs> I am giving my lack of dessert stout a 3.6 out of 5.0. That sounds generous. <laughs> it's uh, No, I'm cranky. Like, yeah. you cannot name a beer dessert city pastry stout and tell me I'm getting a not only a coffee cake, which yeah. I've never had a chocolate coffee cake. You're telling me I'm getting a chocolate coffee cake and you screwed me on <laughs> every a, a, every avenue. Like, I'm I'm cranky. I don't yeah. like it. I was so looking forward to this beer. Yeah, and, really worth uh, I, as a, a good uh, act of faith to my beer friends i have i have faith in you devil's canyon yeah i am going to bake you a coffee cake and send it to san carlos from san diego so you guys can wrap your lips around what a coffee cake <laughs> tastes like and then work on this beer um i just i don't yeah. it really was disappointing to me yeah very disappointing mm -hmm. so yeah i gave it a 3.1 so right there average it was an average beer. It looked really dark. I really liked the way it darked. Uh, way it darked. <laughs> way, it, way it darted out of a darkness. Uh, how dark it was. Um, the carbonation was kind of very carbonated. Really small bubbles in a lot of them. Um, but that was about it. It's it just it was kind of tasted more like a 7.5 or something than a 9.3, and uh, it's just bland except for a little bit of bitterness on the end. Yeah. So not dessert-like. No, not even close. I mean, a pastry or a dessert or yeah. drink your dessert. If you're right. going to throw in that tagline, yeah, you gotta you gotta bring something. Right. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah, so anyway, Gumbo Mud Review is a 3.35, so a little above average for this beer, which it, it's, I think we both agree, it's almost like a base for something. Mm -hmm. Instead of being a dessert stout, it's like a base, and then maybe you make a dessert city stout out of this and bump up all your dessert flavors, whether it's coffee or yes. cake or chocolate or whatever, and mm -hmm. kind of maybe die down on the, on the bitterness of either the uh, coffee mm -hmm. or the fr fruit. Yeah whatever uh, they're getting the monk, the monk fruit sugar from. Mm -hmm. I think, like you said, that's what it's coming from and a little bit of the coffee. Yeah, yeah. that's my guess. I yeah. think it's the, uh, even with the monk fruit set aside, I'm still not getting anything that yeah. points towards a pastry mm -hmm. or a coffee cake or anything sweet. It's just, yeah. Um, I yeah. don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know who <laughs> who they they ran this through on the taste test and who gave it the stamp of approval. Right. I mean, wow. Yeah, it's a beer for somebody. I just wouldn't name it Dessert City Pastry Stout. Oh, I would name it something else um, because it's not a pastry stout at all. So, I would just yeah. call it City Stout. City Stout. Because yeah, in the so city, like... you got a wide range of people. <laughs> yeah. All walks of go. life. There you go. Yeah, City Stout. Just call it the City Stout. City Take stout. out the dessert and the pastry part. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So Gumbo Mud Review is a 3.35 for Dessert City Pastry Stout from Devil's Canyon Brewing Company out of San Carlos, California. <laughs> wow. Got all that, guys? <laughs> wow. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this review. Click thank the like you. and share button and share with everyone. And click the subscribe button for more dark beer reviews. And we are on Instagram. It's Gumbo Mud, M-U-D-D. And we always put out a... Um, a post with our latest video releases along with extra content and some giveaways so find us there yeah find us there follow us check us out and uh, share it with everyone and uh, we look forward to uh, bringing you more dark beers so thank you guys for watching thank you yeah we'll see you next time bye bye